हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू नेपाल अनलाइन स्कूल आज हम फ्लैक्स गोल्ड एंड टेल्स को साइंटिफिक इन्क्वायरी इन्वेन्शन एंड टेस्ट को समेवी इंटरप्रिटेशन एसिमुलेसन क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग हेन जा रहे ओके एबाउट द अथर कॉल गुस्ताब हेम्पल इज अ फिलोसोफर अफ साइंस एंड अ मेजर फिगर इन ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी हि हेज स्टडीड मैथमेटिक्स फिजिक्स Philosophy at the University of Göttingen, Heidelberg, and Berlin. In 1934, he received his doctoral degree from the University of Berlin. He is especially well known for his articulation of the deductive nomenclature model of scientific explanation, which was considered the standard model of scientific explanation during the 1950s and 1960s. He is also known for the Raven paradox, which highlights the problem in induction. Summary in English This is a scientific essay. The process of scientific discovery often involves formulating hypotheses, testing predictions, and an interdisciplinary search in the real world. A scientific inquiry carries on several assumptions and testing to get the in invention of scientific discovery. Thus, the writer tries to say that one should formulate a good hypothesis, test the possible conditions, and reach the conclusion through a rigorous scientific inquiry. Hampel talks about the research of Ignaz Semmelweis, who discovers the main cause of death of large number of women who believed babies in the first division. Samuel Weiss, a physician of Hungarian birth, did the work during the years from 1844 to 1848 at the Vienna General Hospital. As a member of the medical staff of the first maternity division in the hospital, he was distressed to find that a large population of women who were delivered of their babies in that division contracted a serious and often fatal illness known as perpetual fever or childhood fever. They died from it while they delivered their babies. Samuel Weiss began by considering various explanations that were current at the time. He chose some of the experiments. One of the views assumed that the cause of epidemic influence. However, he argued that such influences could not affect the first division only. He both the first and second division. Women delivered babies suffered from childhood fever and died of it. But the surprising thing was the number of women who died of such fatal illness was greater in the first division. But the crowd was more in second division because the patient wanted to avoid the notorious first division. Samuel ways formulated his hypothesis by rejecting some meaningless or confused explanations. He adopted some logical predictions as follows. A. He knew that epidemic influence was one of the cause but did not know why it was fatal in the first division. B. Overcrowd might be another cause but the crowd was more in second division. C. Another cause might be the trainees were doing rough experiments and causing injuries. However, the death rate in the first division was the same even after decreasing such number of medical students. Finally, the research of Samuel Weiss reached to the, to the significant conclusion that the woman in the first division died due to blood poisoning. The doctors and medical students used to come to the first division from the autopsy room without washing their hands properly, and they used to examine the women who delivered babies. Therefore, when the doctors and trainees washed their hands properly and examined the woman, the mortality rate in the first division got decreased. Similarly, the midwives examining patients in the second division required no autopsy-related training. Thus, the, the death rate among the women they examined was low in the second division. Similarly, infected mothers transmitted the infection to their babies as well. Summary in Nepali Yo Yota Bigyanma Adharit Nibanda Ho 
वैज्ञानिक आविष्कार को प्रतिक्रिया में लिटरल कंप्रहेंशन इन दिस एसे द राइटर टॉक्स अबाउट द रिसर्च ऑफ इग्नाज सेमिलवेज हु डिस्कवर्स दैट मेन कॉज ऑफ डेथ ऑफ अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ वुमेन हु डिलीवर्ड बेबीज इन द फर्स्ट डिविजन ही वॉज दिस स्ट्रेस्ड टू सी दैट डेथ ऑफ वुमेन आफ्टर डिलीवरिंग द बेबीज देन ही फॉर्मुलेटेड द हाइपोथेसिस दैट एपिडेमिक इन्फ्लुएंसेस ओवर क्राउडेड एंड चाइल्ड बेड फीवर वे द कॉजेज The surprising thing was the fatal illness was greater in the first division but the crowd was more in the second division as he tested his formulated hypothesis then he arrived at the conclusion that women in first division died of blood poisoning where doctors and trainers used to treat them without even washing their hands so when they are treated they treated patient after washing hands and being careful then mortality rate of women got decreased similarly the mortality rate of women in the second division was low because even the midwives used to examine them without any training similarly it was found that infected mother transmitted their infection to their babies too interpretation This essay represents the process of scientific discovery that involves the formulation of hypothesis, testing the hypothesis and arriving at the right conclusion. The writer discusses the research done by Samuel Weis, a physician who discovers the main cause of the death of large number of women who delivered the first division through the means of infected hands of the doctors. Similarly, there was more crowd in the second division. because midwives examined patients without even any training likewise babies were infected by infected mothers thus this above research represents that a scientific inquiry carries on several assumption and testing to carry out the scientific discovery successfully critical thinking since semilways invention Medical science has discovered different kinds of infections that might cause by different kinds of virus so that if one is suffered from any kind of virus then other normal people might get affected too The writer says that one should formulate a good hypothesis testing it and finding out the reality these ideas are admirable but how can doctors be so careless during the treatment to serious patients next is assimilation this essay has influenced me a lot after reading this essay i remember that incident happened to my best friend susmita last year once she became seriously ill since she was far from her family and relatives we as her friends decided to join her at one of the famous hospitals when we arrived at hospital she was checked up with trainee students and doctors without carrying their dress and not washing hands as a result she suffered a lot then after i come to know that many people die in hospital simply because of careless doctors and other staffs thank you so much for watching Until next time goodbye keep learning jai chandra surya peace